Hey everyone, it's Vignesh. In this video, I'm going to show you the full review of Lineage OS 15.1 after using it for 4 days. First of all, let me go to settings to tell you about this ROM. Here you can see the model number is LLD AL10. Normally, this ROM will work only on LLD L31 and to make it work in LLD in other versions, you need to remove the assets in the updated script before installing. Ok, here you can see the security patch is 5th February. This security patch is based on the vendor partition in your stock ROM. So this is the status. And here is the here is the another version 8.1.0. This is the audio. And this is the ROM I love, love it most because it is one of the stable ROM, uh, one of the best stable ROM for modern nine light. First of all, let me explore the settings. Here is the network and internet settings. Here we have SIM cards. I am using only one SIM card. Here is the connected device. And here is apps and notifications. Here you can access all notifications in the settings. You can choose the notification color light also. Only three colors are there in on an end light. There is a red, blue, and green. And we go to the advanced options. And this is the default apps in the advanced options. And here is the battery. And coming to the battery, this room has uh, nearly five to five the five and a half hours of screen on time. And a standby drain of 15 percentage for nine hours. I noticed. And this is the storage that I am using. And here is the display settings. Here also have expanded stuff. You can turn it on. And here we have tap double tap to sleep on status bar like this. Here you have click on plug. Then everything connecting to a charger. Okay, then here is the sound settings. And every settings there is an advanced options. Here is the users and accounts. Here is the accessibility settings. Here you have magnification, magnification, color correction. Screen. Here is the system that I showed you already. A wood phone. Okay. Next, let's go to the buttons. And here have buttons layout. You can change the button layout. This is the compact layout I'm using. And here you can see the normal layout. And here is the left leaning layout. It leans towards left. And here is the right layout. We can also invert the buttons. And then I will use compact. Okay. And here is the power menu. We can also have screenshots in there. There is no swipe three fingers to take screenshots in this room. You need to press volume down and home button for a long time to take a screenshot. And these are the notification levels we are getting in this room. And these are the notification toggle settings. Okay, so far we explored more in settings. Now 
let's come to the performance of this room this this room performing same as like stock room and i noticed little bit of lagginess when multitasking in this room after four days this is the recent bar of this room these are the recent windows here will be the clear button okay, let me clear and this is the, our group you can join this group i will post the link in the description and this is the stock camera of this room But portrait mode and uh, wide aperture mode won't work in stock AOSP camera. So for that, I'm using P20 Pro camera. Here portrait and aperture everything working. I will post the link in the description below. Then I mentioned every tutorial for installing P20 Pro camera in. On a nine light, that simple. Just go to Magic Manager and you need to go to Modules section and you need to just click on Add. Magic Manager is stopping again and again in this room. I don't know why. I updated to the latest version of Magic Manager and it's happening now. And other thing I noticed is the WhatsApp is closing again and again sometimes. Now I press uh, home button. Oh, it's not. Oops, it's open. WhatsApp is close closing in this room. When I open WhatsApp, it shows sometimes WhatsApp is not responding like that. Maybe because I'm using uh, your WhatsApp. That's not a problem. That. And the other bug that is mentioned in the XDA thread, I noticed this audio effects won't work. By default it is turned on. So if you plug in your headphone, you can't hear any sound because the audio effects will be turned on. So for that you need to turn off the audio effects and you can increase the volume in the headphone. After that only you can hear audio from your headphone. That's the only bug. That's the only major bug I noticed, and that's not that's too not a major bug. It is some kind of little minor bug only. Okay, that's it for the video. And in my next video, I will show you how to install Resurrection Remix. That is the device specific Resurrection Remix on on a nine light. Okay, one thing I forgot to tell you that whatever ROM you are installing, just go to About Phone and enable Developer Options and go inside it. And enable this OEM unlocking because that will help much to unlock uh, FRP. With an, with an unlocked FRP, you can flash any other rooms. So that's must. So please do that. Don't forget it. Okay, that's it for the review, guys. Do like, do comment, do subscribe. Thanks for watching. It's Vignesh. Take care. Bye.